So we got the uh, motor and uh, transmission in the car. Uh, let me point a few things out to you here and explain what's going on. The this this mount, this particular mount here, has been my main concern from the very beginning, and uh, I I still am a little bit undecided about what I'm going to do. But the manual transmission is what we have has this ear that sticks out and it actually bolts to the block of the internal combustion engine and uh, I just don't know if we're going to be able to utilize that or not in what we're doing here as you can see it doesn't even line up this is a spacer and this is the motor right here so you know it's right in between the two and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do there yet the automatic version um, is this ear is deleted from it and it only has these two mounting spots here for the transmission so I'm a little unsure exactly what I'm going to do I think the automatic transmission one will fit if I decide to delete that ear uh, but uh, we'll cross that bridge at a later date um, the next big thing that we're going to have to do on on this build is I'm going to make an accessory assembly here on the end we have this motor mount right here um, from the internal combustion engine it had an arm that came out and then attached to the motor or the engine itself also I'm going to put the power steering pump and the compressor pump on here so I'm going to start out with uh, the first thing we're going to do is get the uh, pulley system for for the stock Honda which is uh, actually a harmonic balancer as well um, the shafts are of course two different sizes so we're going to uh, remake the the harmonic balancer and make it for this motor uh, which will require pushing out the uh, center section of the uh, new harmonic balancer and uh, press fitting in a new center that will accommodate our shaft uh, after we get it all machined up and uh, the way I want it. Uh, the second thing is we're going to have I'm going to have a half inch thick aluminum plate here that I'm going to mount on the front of the motor and off of that we'll use blocks of aluminum um, for where we need a mounting surface so it'll be a big weldment uh, when I get done with it um, we'll have a plate I'll get it shaped the way I want and uh, or at least roughed out and then we'll weld these blocks uh, where we need them for the mounting parts of the pumps and the engine mount as well the goal is to use all the original equipment uh, mounting um, bracketry for the uh, for the two pumps so that the only thing that's custom ends up being the uh, the accessory plate itself and basically I would just take the accessory pumps off the internal combustion engine and put them right on here they, they'll fit we'll use the same belts everything will be the same except for the uh, the accessory plate itself that we're going to have on the front so we don't have to buy a whole bunch of new and have customized mounting and this that and the other we can just use the if something happens you can just go to Honda or to the parts store and get the part that you need for the car and it'll work so that's the goal on that but uh, I thought I'd just give you a little overview uh, after the short little video there we had of uh, putting it all together and putting it in the car and uh, I'm working on several other things um, I got uh, a pile of suspension parts over here that I'm working on and um, we're getting ready to, to get all this stuff together but the main thing uh, for the moment as far as the um, motor compartment goes will be the uh, accessory side we need to tackle that hurdle that's the biggest hurdle we have left in the entire build I think and um, once we get that done we'll be on easy street so there you have it uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, have a good one